I hope you're having a great day. Today I want to talk about instant gratification, something that's spoiling all of our worlds. It's nice to have convenience. It's nice to click a button and have our food delivered to us. It's nice to click a button and be able to shop all the time. I'm not against that, but what's happening is, have you ever thought about the fact that it's creating more stress in our world? While of course we would like instant medication to be delivered to our home whenever we need it, and once in a way we want that food. But how is it, how is it reprogramming our subconscious mind to expect everything at the moment we want it? You see, today I wanna to talk about a topic that delay doesn't mean denial. A lot of us today, and even kids, teenagers, are growing up with this whole thing that we need everything right now, or else we're failures, or someone else is a failure. We need everything right now. But delay doesn't always mean denial. And sometimes when we look at nature, it has its own pace. It adopts its own pace. And we are products of nature. So sometimes our healing takes a little bit of time. But we want instant gratification. We want instant results. And there's a huge industry out there to give you that instant gratification. They're called drugs. They're called chemicals. They're called alcohol. They're called all of these things that can make us feel good immediately. But we fail to understand that sometimes delay is necessary. Sometimes the human body is taking its own time. It's taking its own time to figure out what's wrong at an intelligent level that even we don't understand. And it's doing its work. I'm not saying don't stop your, med I'm, I'm not saying stop your medications, take them. But I'm saying sometimes be patient because we're so programmed and this is not your fault. It's not our fault. If you go back five, 10 years, we're constantly being programmed that everything should happen immediately. We wanna watch a movie, we have ODD platforms. We don't have to wait. We don't have to wait for anything. So what's happening? Our dopamine, okay? We're spending a lot of cheap dopamine all the time, getting it, burning dopamine, burning dopamine. And when it doesn't happen, we start to get restless. We start to get anxious. We start to get stressed out. We start to wanna be in control of things and people that we cannot control. And that is the root cause of our stress and anxiety. If I ask you right now, what are the top five things or the top five people who cause the, the most stress in your life and the most anxiety? You will find in most cases, many of them are genuine, but most of them are people and things that you cannot control, but you want to be in constant control. So we need to constantly remind ourselves of nature, that we are all products of nature and we have our own pace and we need to be patient sometimes. We, not lazy, but patient. Like, you know, you, you need to always look at the story of a farmer. A farmer today will sow the seeds. They will plant the seeds, but they don't wake up every morning. Have you grown into a plant? Have you grown into a plant? Have you grown into a plant? plant? There are seasons. You plant, you wait, you be patient, you nurture, and it gives you the fruit or it gives you the tree. So there's a time to scatter and there's a time to gather. There's a time to reap. There's a time to sow. We need to understand these things even with human life. We need to teach our children and ourselves that no doesn't mean not, that no can also mean not yet. No doesn't mean it can never happen. No could be just right now, it's a no. But it could be not yet for us as well. Because sometimes when we constantly expect things and it doesn't happen as per our timetable, we start to put ourselves into victim mode. We start to feel we're not good enough. We start to feel we're horrible. We start to feel everything doesn't work around us. What's that causing within us? Chaos, disharmony, stress. And today stress is the number one cause of most diseases as we know and as most doctors around the world say. Most of our patients in front of us come with stress-induced problems and stress-induced diseases. So what's the solution? Sometimes we don't need another meditation. Sometimes we don't need another journal. We don't need another technique. We just need the gift of understanding that, hey, look around at nature. It doesn't hurry. Are we different from nature? We think we're different from nature just because we have AI and we have technology and we have fancy things and we think we're in control, but we're still byproducts of nature. Every, trilli every one of those trillion cells within us are nature. We operate best within the biological parameters that define us. The way we eat, the way we sleep, the way we think, the way we move is all controlled even by our outside circumstances, by nature. So what we need to understand, teach ourselves and teach our children that delay is not always denial. Someone doesn't love you back. You're dating. You've got rejected. 
it doesn't mean denial. Sometimes life is working for you, but we always think life is working, you know, against us. Maybe it's not the right time for you to love again. Maybe it's not the right time for you to get this job. Maybe it's not the right time for you to take this holiday. We never know these things and we never will, but we can be patient instead of getting stressed out because it's not in our control. There's nothing we can do. So we should always remember that delay doesn't mean denial. Rejection also doesn't mean that you're a failure. So many times people in life, when, we, when I talk to them, they're, Luke, I'm so happy it never happened. I wanted this so bad, but I'm so happy it didn't happen, you know, because something better came. So we can live our lives with this optimism that, hey, we are being looked after. Don't be lazy. Do the work. Put in the work. Put in the sacrifice. Do all of that stuff. But the point is, sometimes patience is gold. Sometimes trusting that the universe is working for us, trusting that our spiritual parts are leading us to where we need to be. But the human mind comes and, no, I need to be in control. I know better. I know better. I know better. And we, we kind of mess up all those situations where we think we know better, right? But sometimes just leave it. Plant the seeds. Plant the seeds, nurture them, be patient. They'll grow when they have to. And if some seeds don't grow, they were never meant to grow. When a farmer plants all his seeds or all her seeds, there is an expectation, but all of those seeds will not grow. Some of them will, all want. They don't have expectation. When we can break this expectation that everything has to happen our way, at this time, at our time, on our timetable, when we can break that, we start to live more peaceful lives. Have a great day, everyone. Until next time, eat smart, move more, sleep right, breathe deep, and remember, you care is all about you.